Now this letter sent down today cites Title IX and how it prevents sex discrimination. This is what started the three dueling lawsuits between Governor Pat McCrory, state Republican leaders, and the U.S. Justice Department. They all want a court to clarify the interpretation of whether sex means male or female or can include gender protection gender identity protections. Now the letters are forceful, but they are not bound by law, so it's putting your schools in a sticky situation. WNCT's Zora Stevenson joins us to explain. Zora. It's a case of here we go again for schools in North Carolina. They now have to choose whether to follow state or federal law. This is not just a North Carolina issue. This is now a national issue. HB2, North Carolina's controversial bathroom bill, is now a pressing issue for the federal government. Earlier this week, a number of lawsuits were filed after the Department of Justice put the state on notice. And on Friday, the DOJ and Department of Education sent schools across the country this letter. And the federal government is calling it significant guidance. The guidance does not add additional requirements to the applicable law. That guidance goes against HB2, leaving school systems in our area with a lot to review. And we have to synthesize all of the information that we get to come up with the best practice. Pitt County Schools attorney Cynthia Grady says most school districts will consult with their lawyers before making any permanent decisions. I reached out to Pitt, Beaufort, Craven, Onslow, and Lenore County Schools. Representatives tell me they're all going to deal with transgender students on a case-by-case -case basis until they can have a sit-down with their respective school boards and superintendents. As for what's legal, well, Grady says that's still being determined. We won't know for sure what the law is until the courts tell us. Grady says she knows Pitt County will do whatever is best for its students. She says at the end of the day, she just wants everyone to be in an environment where they feel comfortable and can learn. Zora Stevenson, 9 on your side.